guys, this is L here, bringing you another war recap video against AFG 3 Star, which they did not live up to their name. Uh, everything's just trash. I think Ron had a couple good ones in this war. Ron really showed it out. Um, this base right here, everyone seems to be using this four island base. Everyone's seen it done. You know, it's been a multitude of ways how to do it. In this case, we're going to use the Electron and get the Eagle down. We are going to destroy the Eagle. We are going to get some Expo action. And I do not believe we are going to get the Queen with her pounding down with that level 40 godlike ability that God has given her. Drag's gonna be working though. And it disappears. Uh, pretty much like my wallet after a night out. Anyways, <laughs> we are gonna get the CC down. And I believe we're gonna start the loon portion. The infernal pocket is dropped. Didn't really need that ward in there until you hit the wizard towers, but it's not going to be too much of an issue. Queen is now dead, and then we are going to finish that off, and that is going to be a triple for the good guys. Great check by Ron. I see a lot of people struggling with that base. This is an easy way to do it. Um, we'll be able to show this for future wars because I'm sure a bunch of people will be running that base. Attacking up here, round again. Great job in this war. Completely maxed, 10 out of 11. Um, not maxed offense, but we're still gonna get the job done. You know, primarily with this kind of attack, you really want to get that queen down with your initial charge. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna get it. It looks like he will. So he's gonna get the queen and the eagle, and he will get the CC. Now that's down, and now he can work his heroes probably on one portion, or he can just start his Lalo so that the warden doesn't follow the heroes. If you do put your heroes too close to the Lalo Loon portion, the warden will trail off with the heroes for some reason. It's just the way it works. He follows the highest hit point, you know, players in the game. So it looks like he's gonna do those in the north, and then come in from the south area here. He's gonna keep his warden separated from that main pack. We'll zoom outwards a little bit so you can see what's kind of going on. You see the hounds burst really quick, but it does draw that uh, tornado trap out, which will be good. And then we have some follow-up loons here. It looks like we forgot to put some kind of loon action on those, so they're going to have to come back. Uh, got the warden. It's going to keep all those loons alive. Queen's still working up there, doing her thing. And we still have two haste spells. So man, it doesn't look like this raid went exactly to plan here. Um, it looks like... Oh, the other expo is on ground. And, you know, with this, this style of base, you're really defending against that bowler, witch combo, or just straight bowlers. Any of those spam attacks you're really defending against. So I can see why he had it on ground when you're going in for air bad news and those loons are just about to die but the minions keep them up and this one just came down to the wire but he was still able to get it done even without max troops or heroes he's still able to get it done great job by Ron this war man old man Lodi going up against Hadari that's kind of a dip attack and it's kind of the same base that we already showed twice um, this attack we got here by Winchester against the Town Hall 12. And we're gonna go in with the Bola Loon. So we're gonna get that Loon down, with the baby dragon to follow. Seek out any of those mines that could hurt the baby dragon. So we're gonna get those down on both sides. And then those two little corner areas will be carved out there. 
and then you have that big storage just and I have a lot of DPS so those boilers are there to work that so that everything follows into the you know core smoothly and once those boilers come up we're gonna also get that queen the eagle and the tornado trap so that's all good baby drag is getting a ton of value it's still alive and it's still gonna work the outside once we warden we are gonna take out this dragon here momentarily and then we're gonna freeze the inferno keep the king alive here we do get the town hall as well um, just from the kill squad we've gotten rid of 36 percent of the base and it kill squad is still looking pretty strong up there it doesn't look like it's going down anytime today so once we get that going on we get our loons starting to funnel in here we got some haste coming down on the side areas here that expo is going to drop and then we're going to wrap around the entire side of the base once that's done three hay spells are left so that's one and a half spell slots and that is just a massacre we still got hounds up still got 30 balloons we know how that's one to end number six Winchester again we got this town 12 base with nearly max upgraded if it wasn't for the last update besides the cannons so we're gonna test out for those seeking air mines I'm gonna go throw the blimp down and then the blimp's gonna come the dragons are gonna get raged up the CC is gonna get dropped and I believe we also got the queen and that was the main start of that raid what we really wanted once we get that going down we get our lava loon section Eagle's gonna get taken down, warding over the town hall. I'm just gonna proceed nice and tight through the base. And once we get right about to the end, that's when we notice it's gonna start getting a little hairy. Get our heroes down and get that last air defense. And that is also gonna be a triple. Great job by Winchester. Number five, Makoto. What do we got going for Makoto here? Okay, we got another Town Hall 12. How are we gonna start this one off? We're gonna do some, we're gonna do a P.E.K.K.A walk over here, and we're gonna let the other P.E.K.K.A trail off. That P.E.K.K.A will be able to make that nice side funnel for us. And we're gonna go in with our Maiden Squad. Once we get that, we get the CC out. And the main point that you want to do in the pack of bull bat is that you want to get all the wizard towers down as you can. So when people got them all clumped up like this, it's really bad news. You probably should have wardened right about here. Keep everything alive. Everything kind of dropped a little bit. So now we're going to have to rely on the queen to try to get up in there and try to get the eagle. And I don't think we're going to be able to get it um, just because the queen seems to be trailing off in her own world um, so once we do that it does look like she wasn't able to get the eagle um, but we are going to have the bats with no wizard towers to defend it except that multi inferno so we gotta keep that frozen it's the only thing that's left that can really hurt our attack and then after that man that the base is just crushed really no defenses you know having all those wizard towers cramped up at the front there made it really easy for all those bats to come through on the on the side area there another great attack and then we have my attack as the last one uh, I did another style you know similar in the last video but I mean people keep running this base so I'm just gonna keep taking it out if you're running this base you should probably change it it's not working out too well you know for the people defending against it in my case so what you want to do is you want to get the eagle you know whether it's through the bats or whether it's through the kill squad this time I chose the kill squad 
In the other video, I actually went through this compartment into here. But the thing is, with the single target inferno and all this trash around it, it's gonna be hard to get a kill squad going all the way up through there and getting all your troops funneled in there to go to the town hall. So I opted to do the kill squad through the eagle on this particular base. So this is just one example of changing up the way you attack something just because of how the layout is set up. You know, if you have these single targets infernos and that's the only thing in the compartment, it's gonna be really hard to get your whole army funneled through there, you know, especially with all the outside trash. Um, so we're gonna go through there. Keeping the wall racker up, and now since those compartments are so big, they can't even hit like most of the stuff coming through. Um, so, so once your stuff is out of range, you really don't have to worry about it. And we're gonna get the town hall here. And then after that, man, it's just back clean up. Got that one wizard tower. Got another wizard tower over here. And that's a wrap. I did notice though, in these uh, bat style attacks, the bats do significantly lower damage to the storages than they do to other particular type of buildings. Like, they take a really long time to actually work through those. So, um, taking some gobs or like a wizard or something in order to help out the bats at the end, if you are relying on those for your cleanup troops, um, I would definitely recommend bringing in, you know, some extra firepower there, because if you just have bats on the end and it's going to be really difficult just to be able to finish off the base if you've got a lot of storages left up. Alright guys, that's probably going to be the end of the video. I'm just going to throw up a recap for now. Um, maybe later in the week we can do something a little bit more in-depth. But I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that bell, sign up for notifications, and we'll see you on the next one. I'll out.